hey guys welcome back to clarity chart analysis and in this video i'll be using market structure to tell us our current position of the agix on the price market chart and also using market structure to predict the next possible move of the agix but first guys if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both directions of the market you want to know our current position on the price market chart this channel is for you please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video so guys on our daily time frame which is our major structure the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside and guys we're expecting a pullback for us to be on the pullback phase guys we need price to take out this swing that give us this lower low and guys we just saw price trade above it but price do not close above it so that we can call that as a break of structure we can call that as a strip of liquidity and guys remember that this is just a pullback phase so it's possible we are done with the pullback phase and price is ready to continue breaking more structure to the downside so guys currently now we'll be going back to a four hour time frame to go see what price is doing on our four hour time frame let's remember that for us to be on the pullback phase guys we need price to our four hour time frame to be on a bullish trend because the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside and guys if price is on a bullish trend that shows we are still on a pullback phase but if price is now back to a bearish trend that shows price is done with the pullback phase and price is ready to re resume the impulsive phase on our daily time frame and guys remember that on market structure you can trade both direction of the market you just need to trade alongside with market structure so guys going back to our four hour time frame what do we notice we noticed that the most recent break of structure tool we saw on our far time frame was this same break of structure to the downside and we expected the pullback we need price to trade above this swing that gave us this lower low and guys we've seen price traded above it and we pull back we broke more structure to the upside pull back and broke more structure to the upside and guys the next thing was we saw a break of structure to the downside telling us that now price is now on a bearish trend and will pull back and will broke more structure so guys the most recent break of structure we saw on our four time frame was a break of structure to the downside and guys price is trading between this upper swing of our four time frame and this lower swing of our four time frame so guys currently for us to be on the pullback phase we need price to take out this swing if price is not taking out this swing then we are not yet on the pullback phase we should not be surprised we'll continue seeing more break of structure to the uh, downside so guys currently we are still on an impulsive phase, which impulsive phase which is a bearish trend on our four hour time frame so guys on our one hour time frame what do we notice we notice that for us to be on the pullback phase on our four hour time frame we need our four hour time frame to be giving us a bearish trend uh, to be giving us a bullish trend and it was this swing that gave us this lower low so guys we've not traded above it okay currently we saw a break of structure to the upside we'll pull back and we saw another break of structure but all these break of structure are just showing us that our far time frame is ready to be on a pullback phase so guys let's trade carefully let's not lose our added money back to the market if you can see price trade above this four hour time frame swing that shows we are now back to a pullback phase and until we can see price take out this upper swing of our four hour time frame before we be on a bullish trend on our four hour time frame to show that price is now ready to continue the price is now ready to be on the pullback phase on our daily time frame but if price is not doing any of these two then guys we should not be surprised that we'll continue seeing more break of structure to the downside guys remember that clarity chart analysis is there to give update on market structure but guys for you not to miss out please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. Thank you guys for watching this video.